With you the sun is shining 24 7 Cause when we're together It feels like we're in heaven if it were gathered Well, good morning and Welcome to our new home. Our new home in Freeport, Texas. Definitely. At least uh, it's our home for the next uh, few days. It's a beautiful place. Um, we're at Bridge Harbor Marina. I think it may also be called Bridge Harbor Yacht Club. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what it says online. Bridge Harbor Yacht Club. So it's cool. Um, it's just 15 minutes from the Gulf, and it's a pretty little place. They have, but uh, we'll show you the restaurant and the facilities later today. Uh, we just want to welcome you here. It's a gloomy day. We're glad that we came in when the weather was good. Uh, there's a cold front blowing in. 63. We get to bundle up. Yeah, so I, I brought out my hoodies. I can, I'm kind of uh, sad that I can no longer say that I only have four pairs of clothes. <laughs> now I have about six. <laughs> yes. So it's fun. It's nice and cozy weather, right? So much fun. We'll uh, walk you around the facilities and we'll find something fun to do today. Bridge Harbor Marina is a great place if you're looking for a low key stay with a restaurant bar and grill, pool, and live music. The marina has free Wi-Fi, as well as a stock snack and drink shop. Let's talk about the food. They serve, here they serve lots of like food, like fried fr fr food. Uh, they serve fried food, like fish and all that. They have a lot of fish options, french fries, uh, vegetable grilled, vegetable stuff, uh, rice pilaf, they, they got a lot of good stuff. So we're told there's a few convenience stores, you know, within walking distance. So we're heading down to the bridge that we entered the marina on. And we guess it's going to be about half an hour, but to find out. Pick up some ice cream, maybe a six pack of Corona. Who knows, maybe even uh, some donuts, some powdered donuts. Donuts? Chocolate or chocolate or powder? Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate powder. Chocolate or powder, Nance. Mm. We have to get both, won't we? Amazing. Donut sticks. Okay. <laughs> Glazed donut sticks. Those are the best. I like the scenery. It's just a cool place. The whole town is kind of industrial. It's kind of like industry. Yeah. Machine shops. Oil refineries. Uh, comment down below what your favorite flavor donut is. Kitchen, we cook it, we eat it. Oh, uh, yeah. and, uh, we'll have, uh, I've been a 
guitar boat business right when I started. Um, my dad put me, I built a restaurant when I was in the 10th grade. Uh -huh. And I was a dishwasher, I was a cook, and uh, then everyone runs place. And uh, we had this opportunity. Uh, uh, Mr. Moby uh, came by and said, Look, I need some restaurant man, and your name keeps coming up. And, uh, and we've got, I think, got a wonderful relationship. I have two wonderful partners, and, and my wife, and uh, uh, Scott and Robin Ball. And uh, we're all, I'm old man, but I'm still excited. Uh -huh. So I had the boiled shrimp last night. It was well, really yeah. good. Well, what we, else do you cook? Uh, we specialize in Dungeness crab. We deep fry barbecue Dungeness crab. Uh, I, I did that 30-something years ago. It's something I got away from, but I got back into it. Uh, our fish, our, our, uh, our shrimp, uh, our friend of mine has his own boat, freeze a boat, we come from Matagorda. We serve Matagorda oysters. Mm -hmm. Oyster season will start next uh, next, next month. Nice. And uh, it, it, it's, it's no fresh unless you catch it yourself. That's awesome. <laughs> Can't put it any other way. Ken, it's good meeting you. Pleasure meeting you. Come see it. Definitely, okay? definitely. All right, we have Mingo Marquez, the uh, harbor, harbor master. master. Awesome. So, at Bridge Harbor Marina, um, how many transits do you have? Uh, well, we, we post events up to about 40 boats. So, okay. we've got plenty of transit, you know, transit space for both sailboats and power boats. And it took us no time to get into here. Right. From the Gulf. Yeah, we're only a mile and a quarter from the jetty, so we're real close to getting into the marina. As well as when you leave the marina, we're only uh, like a mile and a quarter from the jetties, and as far as fishing goes, uh, in three miles, you're in 60 foot of water, so uh, we've got some good fishing grounds out of Freeport. Awesome. Now, I uh, I trolled the whole way down, but I didn't catch anything. No, you didn't catch <laughs> So there's no guarantee. There's no, there's no guarantee in fishing. That's why they call it fishing. Okay. <laughs> so Mingo's been super kind on the phone with us on the way down. I can't say anything bad about this place. Well, good, thank you. Uh, you're always welcome. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually, like I said, on the weekends, we have entertainment around the pool bar area and the, and the cafe area. So, uh, you know, a lot of people come in from Galveston or the Clear Lake area. Uh, they'll, they'll sail down or, or motor down and they'll stay the night and then head back the next day. So, That's cool. yeah, quick drive, quick, quick, uh, quick what do you call it? Quick cruise, there yeah. you go. <laughs> quick cruise. Yeah. And a slow sail. Uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. it's time to head on. Time to leave Freeport. I don't want to go. I just want to stay here forever. <laughs> yeah, I definitely could stay another day or two. Get some dinghy time in, some, maybe some fishing. We just barely scratched the surface here, I think. Yeah, I'm ready for the next place. Yeah, for sure. Um, I love this place as a good, it's, it's a good place to stay as a destination, but I also loved it as a stopping point for a longer journey. You know, it's only 20 minutes to the Gulf of Mexico from here. Um, just a little bit down the channel and out the jetties. Very convenient. Um, I guess we could talk about our overall experience. What do you think about the marina? The marina's nice. The, they've got new docks. They're a work in progress. They're remodeling. Uh, lots of potential. So hopefully, you know, they'll just keep adding to it and make it even better. They have a restaurant, they have a bathhouse, a little convenience store, it's nice. Yeah, definitely, and uh, good prices on all those things. The restaurant's cool. Um, you know, you go to some marinas, there's no restaurant, but here you've got a restaurant, indoor seating, which is a really nice atmosphere. Yeah. We had dinner last night, and, um, and then outdoor seating with the water would be great in the summertime. Yeah, Olivia enjoyed, even though it's a little cold out and chilly out. She enjoyed just like splashing around in the pool, putting our feet in. Um, the owner was really nice, very friendly staff, uh, very helpful. They want you to be comfortable and happy while you're here. It's been fun. Thanks for watching, and um, we look forward to sharing with you uh, the offshore trip back to Cuba. Uh, we think it's going to be a beautiful sail. very impressed with her. She's a great boat. Everything in your life is women. <laughs> I'm going to name the dinghy after a man. I'm going to name the dinghy Tom. Bob. Brady. Brady. Tom Brady. Brady. What's up? It's the dinghy that never dies.